Hey everyone, this is Mr. and I've reanimated myself. I'm back into the realm of drawing. I'm having the free time to do as much now. And honestly, if I was you, when I'm looking at my sketches, I would laugh a little bit because I changed them so much. Seriously, if you just take a little snapshot of the sketch right now and look at how it was towards the end, it's just totally different. I changed that right hand or left hand, depending on how I've flipped, like a lot of times. This is the final version because I was happy with the perspective of the hand there. I don't know why, but when I'm drawing sassy pictures and they have a sassy expression, I automatically have them give the finger. And the really awkward thing is I usually end up having them give the wrong finger. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm being unintentionally not offensive. Subconsciously I must be a really nice person something. I don't know. Anywho, as you can see here, I always work on when I, see I just totally change the face there because I draw all of the stuff on top of one layer and when I'm drawing everything on top of one layer with no liner I end up hating the liner and then just redoing it. Personally I love that face a lot more than the original one. The original one had the attitude that I wanted but this one sort of looks more cleaner and fine to me even though it's a totally different face type. Anywho, as you can see right there, I went on to Google and I checked what male anatomy looks like on their torso because I can't draw male anatomy to save my life. So now you can see it looks a lot nicer now. So absolutely, if you're having issues with things like that and you can't work with things like that like me, then absolutely do that. Here, this is a lovely idea that I found from a really amazing artist on DeviantArt. You just draw really organic shapes and you warp them by holding down control on your laptop keyboard and it gives you this amazing sense of perspective. Here you can see I'm adding a little bit of blue into the background there just to blend it in with the main character there just because otherwise a little bit too ununified. I actually spent an hour and a half on the character, an hour and a half on the background itself because I find that I can't con concentrate for that long. An orange. Oh, when I add the orange, I absolutely fell in love with everything. I was really happy once that happened. It might not fit the palette right, but I love it right. Just make anything orange and I'll fall in love. Anywho, here, oh, I'm away from it now, but here I, again, I'm just editing everything with the main character on one layer. The background, however, is tons of different layers. I locked the opacity and I would scribble all over it because I really like that contrast that you get when you have these nice crisp shapes and this sort of messy colouring over it. You can especially see it in the green stuff in the background there, just this really scribbly jazz all over the top. Because if it's too clean, it won't match the shading on the front there. Here at the end, I just add a little bit of an overlay with yellow, just to make him match with the background, that sort of sunsetty dawn vibe that I was going for there. Anywho, hope you enjoyed the video. Really happy to be back. And yeah, let me know what you'd like for the next one. See you around, guys.